Hey guys and welcome back to ZRZ. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the official vertical stand for the PS4 Slim and the PS4 Pro. And the reason why we know that this is for both consoles is because on the box the model numbers are shown which includes the CUH2000 model and CUH7000. And the CUH7000 is the PS4 Pro, CUH2000 is the PS4 Slim which we have right in front of us right now. And uh, when we get into the box, you'll see why it's adapted to fit for both consoles. Uh, but just taking a look at the box, you can see quite simple. That's the vertical stand right there. Uh, but getting straight into the box, um, this retails for £16 roughly on Amazon. So straight up we have some manuals. And this is what's going to screw onto the, onto the console itself. This is what's going to hold the vertical stand onto your PS4 console. Um, so don't lose that the two adapters so this is what i was talking about this is how it's sort of adapted for each of the console uh the ps4 slim and the ps4 pro we'll take a closer look in a second and then that should be the vertical sound itself nothing else in the box so move the packaging off to the side so right there that is the stand quite a nice looking plastic actually i thought it was black originally just like a plain black but it's actually clear with sort of a smoked look to it and it almost looks like it gets darker in the middle and gets lighter towards the edges quite nice looking and it's very shiny and glossy and it's already attracting a lot of dust but uh, looks pretty cool and then we got these adapter plates uh, for each of the consoles so you can see this one is for the ps4 slim you can kind of see that symbol um, of the ps4 slim there and an arrow pointing to the hole on the circle symbol so that's where it will be threaded into the back of the console and then we have the ps4 pro one which is obviously a little little symbol of the PS4 Pro and same goes here threaded into the circle logo and obviously these are slightly different uh, to match um, the correct console so if we take a look at the PS4 Slim and see if we can line up this adapter see how it fits I'll just flip it over to the back so this is the this is the bottom of the console so I've just zoomed in a little bit and you can see those symbols right there we got the square triangle circle and X logos and that should line up. It will slot into these symbols. I think there's a little cutout on the square logo which lets it slot in, but it doesn't really lock into place just yet. This is just sort of to give the vertical stand uh, a sort of platform and um, line that up with the circle logo and then do the same with the rest of the stand. So if you get the base of the stand and line that up as well, make sure we got the right side. So that's the PS4 slim one line it up with the hole of the adapter so once you've got the thread started off you can kind of tighten it with your hand to begin with and then obviously you'll get to a stage where it's going to be a bit difficult to tighten by hand so uh, it's easy to just grab like a coin right here and just slot that into place it makes it a lot easier to spin um, i mean if you spend all your money on this vertical stand then you'll probably be screwed if you don't have a coin but yeah just tighten it with this and it should tighten up get quite snug towards the end i'm not going to overdo it that should do it um, just snug it up like that and that's to stand pretty tightly on the console actually um, with just one screw and now that is our ps4 slim with a beautiful vertical stand i'm actually really liking it when i first saw the pictures of this i didn't really like this style of vertical stand but now i'm kind of feeling it i'm, I'm really liking it so, so far I'm really liking this stand, um, it's very stable with the PS4 Slim, uh, we'll have to see with the PS4 Pro when that comes out, but so far this is extremely stable, it's not rocking left and right, and it's quite sturdy. Um, also the stand seems to have been designed in a way so that there's a lot of room at the bottom of the console, so it's not blocking anything, so the ventilation uh, should be fine, shouldn't cause any issues there. Um, one thing I noticed about the plastic material is that just during the installation process it got scratched up quite a lot so there's a lot of light scratches at the bottom uh, but you don't really notice it once you've got it set up and installed and uh, I guess the only other thing I can say is that the rubber feet at the bottom of the stand are a little bit small like it's not it's barely even like rubber um, so it's not really gripping the table or whatever surface you have it on that much uh, but it doesn't seem like it slides around too much but other than that great little stand i definitely recommend it if you want to keep your console upright so if you're interested definitely check out the links below uh, to where you can buy this that's pretty much it for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did leave it a like definitely subscribe for more thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one